Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to have to take a look at a new use case, uh, which is team rituals. So as we know, uh, a lot of teams work in a hybrid situation, in office or remote, uh, and when they're in their office, they just end up around their laptops. So what we want to do is use the interactive displays as a focal point in that meeting, uh, and a good way to bring the team together and create a collaborative environment in the team, while also still uh, supporting the hybrid use case. So here, for example, we've got a little retro setup, uh, it's a quick retro that I just pumped in some cards on. Uh, and what the interactive display can do here is add that sort of collaborative session up here, uh, where people still contribute individually on their laptops, on their phones, from remote participants. But then you can still do the grouping in person uh, and on a display. If you throw back to pre-COVID times, uh, we would often do these on whiteboards and you'd get up and move stickies around. So it's that sort of same session. So you could have multiple people on the board, you could have someone up here in front of you, uh, grouping the stickies by intent or by type. Um, so, but what we're gonna give it a go today is we're gonna try to group by sentiment. So I'm gonna click this and go uh, cluster by keywords, sorry, not sentiment. Um, and so we're just gonna quickly use uh, the mirror tools to quickly cluster that. And so that then gives uh, the team, and let me just, Delete these backgrounds, make it easier to there it is. Uh, make it easier to follow. Uh, and then this enables us to group. And then we can have a discussion. So we can zoom in and say, okay, so we've got uh, say three meetings here about uh, three three stickies here about lots of meetings. So let's have a discussion about that. And that could be the people in the room and the people hybrid. Uh, and then we can easily see the check-ins, too many Slack groups messages, but we have great vibe in the team. And we can see that sentiment pretty quickly and much more visually than we can if we're all looking at a laptop and all looking at different parts of the pool. And then one of the other regular use cases is we've got uh, sort of team planning, sprint planning, uh, even individual planning, uh, and manipulating Kanban boards, uh, cards, and other tools. So again, uh, we're using this display as sort of the center point to the room and to focus everyone on one viewport. So everyone is thinking about, talking about and interacting with the same content. Whether or not they're using the interactive display for that or not, there could be multiple people up here or everyone could be sitting down and, but it's still used as sort of that focal point in the room. So here what we've got is we can move around cards, we can edit these cards uh, if we want, bring them up here. Uh, edit the cards if we want. Uh, these cards, if they're Jira cards, for example, could sync with Jira. We're using our program board uh, and then move those around. So again, it's not a lot of interactivity on the screen, but it's that sort of focal point that we want to bring into the room and create sort of one equal sort of viewport that everyone's seeing. And especially if you put the camera looking at this screen, then the re remote participants can see the context of the room as well, uh, not just all the participants. Uh, so. So that's kind of it, a quick look at team rituals and what we can do with Kanban boards, retros and other things uh, using cards on the interactive display. Thank you very much, bye.